sort screen recording for the OpenAI Connect quick action or action that you can use inside the uh, Salesforce Flow Builder. Uh, I've provided you with the OpenAI Connect template kind of flow that you can use inside the system to get started with it. It has lots of different parameters set already and um, you can use them. So for one, you have a user screen that is essentially the screen that you can put into Lightning app, uh, Lightning record pages to start experimenting with it. You have the assignment of the input to a prompt um, variable that way and the actual action will get its um, its values. To add the action, you can just click on action and then just put in OpenAI Connect, click on that, and the system will actually um, open that for you. So let me just show you what kind of um, values are already set in the template so that you will be able to get started as soon as possible. So the input values that you need to set is essentially the open AI endpoint name, that's the name credential that you're going to complete uh, to create so that the system can actually um, provide a connection towards the open AI API. Then you have the open AI prompt. So the prompt is most of the time, give me, um, for example, a description of Salesforce. That will be a prompt that you can put in, or if you'd like to use it in a more uh, automated way, you could actually have another kind of action, for example, get accounts to get you the, um, the, the name of the account, and then also provide you the instruction. Maybe either way, you can provide that in a kind of other variable, or you would like to provide it in um, actually other records. So that is also kind of um, flexible now. So you could actually ask it, describe the company. Um, and then it will actually try to describe Salesforce, for example. So let's just um, disable that so that I can show that to you later. Uh, on top of that, you have two value or three values that will actually default. So the open AI model is the actual model. Um, based on what OpenAI is providing to you. And then you have also the temperature of the um, whole model and the response. So temperature will be how, how good the answer will be. So 0.1 will be very precise. 0.7 will be a lot less precise. It's actually defaulting to 0.1. And then you have the tokens. So the amount of tokens that are being used with a specific model. This is defaulting to a thousand. If you'd like to use more, that's depending on the model. So some models use 2004 uh, and other use um, 4000 um, tokens. So you can actually define that based on the action. And then on top of that, you have the advanced outputs, which I would recommend so you have the finish reason. Sometimes the um, API will stop because there are not enough um, tokens left. So in that case, you actually like to know that. Then you have the um, actual output, um, the reply ID, and the tokens that are being used. Tokens used is something very helpful for you so that you will be able to know, okay, I have so many tokens that have been used in this particular kind of uh, request that I've taken. You can use that in order to write a report or something like that uh, if you'd like to map that to maybe some kind of custom object. Um, so once that's done, let's just go into debug and the system will, since that's kind of declaratively built, will actually ask you what you would like to see. So you can ask it to provide you with um, provide me with a description of Salesforce. And then you just click next and the system will actually try to query OpenAI Da Vinci now and it will actually get back with the value of search. And you can also see down here on the right hand side that um, there is some kind of the finish reason which is stopped. So it has finished successfully. You have the reply ID and you can also see the AI output that it's provided to you. On top of that, you can see the amount of tokens that it has used. So you could report on that. What you need in order to have this 
running in a good way is you need to create uh, extension, external credentials. So that's the external credential that I've created. It's called OpenAI. You will be able to um, create named credentials. So in this case, I've created the OpenAI completions in order to go to the completions endpoint. You can also um, create another one if you feel like it, but um, this is the one that's currently supported by the action. And uh, then you have some kind of um, custom headers that you need to set as well. So authorization, organization, as well as content type. And there is a per, um, authentication right now with a credential of the org as well. If you go into the OpenAI completions, then you can also see that um, you need to allow the HTTP uh, headers to have formulas so that it can actually provide the right information to the endpoint. Uh, I hope you're successful with the use of that and um, I'm really excited to provide that to you. Thank you.